Did you know some of the most expensive types of countertops are copper, stainless steel, and different types of metal? Learn in today's video the secret recipe and easiest way to make metal countertops with stone coat epoxy. Copper countertops are very expensive. They cost a lot of money, thousands to fabricate and install. I'm going to show you how to save 10 times your time and money. You can update your countertops for under $250 in a single weekend. This project only took me minutes. It was completely stress-free and is perfect for the do-it-yourselfer, brand new to epoxy. You don't need to be a metal fabricator. You only need simple hand tools. Today, I'm going to teach you a very simple epoxy technique replicating liquid molten copper using Stone Coat Epoxy that will save you thousands on your next DIY project. I'm using two of Stone Coat's metallic powders, copper and rust. This stuff is actually made from ground up copper and looks absolutely amazing when mixed into the epoxy. Learn all the pro tips and tricks on how to create this epoxy project in your home. I will use a trowel to spread the material and a small paintbrush to marbleize and meld the two colors together. You're invited, there's tons to learn. Come with me and enjoy the video. I'm sanding an old black epoxy board with 220 grit. I'm tinting my epoxy opaque with metallic powder, which will cover the old epoxy coating down below. You will want to use our black epoxy undercoat when using this technique over your existing or pouring over new countertops. Use a roll of blue shop towels to wipe off the dust. All right, that epoxy is scuffed up and ready for a brand new coat of metallic copper and rust. Time to mix up the stone coat countertop epoxy. You're gonna to wanna to start with part B and measure at a one to one ratio by volume, not weight. This project is 14 square feet. We're gonna mix up three ounces per square foot. We're gonna divide that epoxy into two mixing cups and tint some of it copper and some of it rust. We're gonna pour that out and chop it all together. This countertop recipe is super simple. So grab that bucket and you're gonna mix for two minutes with a paddle mixer. All right, that epoxy is mixed. I'm gonna pour some into a separate mixing cup, tint some of it copper and some of it rust. That is rust and copper. All right, grab your mixing paddle and mix again for another 30 seconds to a minute. Our epoxy color additives were hand selected for how beautiful and natural they look in the epoxy. They have a fine particle size for easy mixing and a vibrant shine. Rust and copper. All right, I'm gonna take my copper and trowel that out over my project and then incorporate the rust randomly. Chop those two together. It's gonna be sweet. Okay, take your mixed and tinted copper epoxy, pour it out into the center of the project. Now we're gonna use the eighth inch by eighth inch square notch trowel. Trowel the material over itself. This is gonna mix the epoxy another time here on the surface. And then it's time to spread out the epoxy. Keep the epoxy from the edges until the entire field is covered. There's no need to apply tons of pressure. Just let that notch trowel glide across the surface, evenly spreading the epoxy. All right, grab your chop brush, pull on the edge of the bristles. Any loose bristles, you wanna remove them. Now that your brush is pre-primed, Go ahead and randomly chop the surface. This is gonna mix the epoxy one more time and it's gonna eliminate any trowel marks. Do this in a random pattern. Just make sure to get all the trowel lines. Just this copper on a black background is starting to kind of look pretty cool. I can't wait to torch this. All right, take that epoxy soaked brush and rub your edges. I forgot to fog my edges with our copper spray paint. This will add depth and realism to the edges. You can still fog and chop in some accent colors on your edges. When this coat dries, then pour on your clear coat. A propane torch or a heat gun will quickly remove any air incorporated into the epoxy while mixing. So the chopped in copper metallic looks pretty sweet. I'm now gonna grab that rust and, and meld and mix that in throughout the project. I'm gonna use a paint stick and my rust epoxy and just put some all over my piece and then come back with a chop brush and chop it in. Add the accent epoxy to your project wherever you wish. All right, you can see how I kind of just randomly put that rust 
on top of the copper. I'm now gonna grab that chop brush and melt those two together. Don't over chop. Just kind of incorporate the two together and as it self levels, you can get some really cool effects with these two colors. So I grab some of that material and feather it out. I think these two colors over the black look really nice. This is sweet. Grab your propane torch or heat gun to quickly remove air incorporated into the epoxy melding colors with your chop brush. Keep the torch head off the surface of the epoxy an inch or two in a sweeping motion. So kind of scan the piece. Look for anything that jumps out at you like this. I don't like that little, almost looks like an M. Just tap it. It looks great. Copper and rust, two colors over black undercoat. This piece is looking pretty sweet. Where I put that rust vein, it gets so much depth. I hope this camera can pick it up for you. So you can see that little polka dot I missed. Just come in and chop a little bit. It'll totally meld and marbleize that together. Folks, check out that piece. It looks awesome. Two colors, metallic copper and rust. Let me know what other two color options you would choose for your countertop. Stone Coat Epoxy. How do you know if it's the right epoxy for you? Well, our epoxy is DIY friendly, VOC free, meaning you can work with it in a small bathroom with no noxious smell. It's been chemically and specially formulated for the kitchen and bathroom use. This stuff is tough. Heat, scratch, and UV resistant. We have the right epoxy for your projects. Shower walls, floors, Woodworking and Art Epoxy, all found on our website, StoneCoatCountertops.com. To make this epoxy recipe your own, grab any two epoxy metallic powder colors of your choice over at our color center. I hope you learned something helpful and enjoyed this simple to create epoxy recipe. And remember, from Stone Coat Countertops, you got this, and we'll see you on the next video.